Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and we are here at the Watkins Glen International for qualifying in the Lake Effect Ice Cream 125 in the NOFSRL Arca Racing Series presented by Krispy Kreme. And it's a five minute session around this 3.4 mile road course, so they're pretty much going to get maybe one, maybe two laps in, in this session. So... You gotta get it done now if you're gonna have a good shot at the victory because this is a road course which means that it is difficult to pass here it's only gonna be seven laps tomorrow afternoon so if you start up front you got a good shot at the victory otherwise you're gonna have a hard time getting up front the number 41 first driver out there Matthew Phillips and if I'm not mistaken if Nathan Stapleton did win this race last season which I do believe he did I'm pretty sure the two wins Stapleton had last season was Watkins Glen and Talad or no. Actually, you know what? It was Watkins Glen in Kentucky last year. Um, but Nick Smith won this race in season one, which means that the winner of this race has gone on to win the Arca Series Championship both seasons. So it means quite a bit to win Watkins Glen. The only road course race of the season. But uh, definitely one of our favorite road courses to run on Napa Fan, and that's why we're here for the Arca Series. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how these guys take over the CTS physics, because they haven't run these physics before at this racetrack. So, don't quite know what to expect tomorrow afternoon, but uh, we will know what to expect once we get the starting lineup, or at least a little bit of what we're going to expect. Jonathan Logan won two weeks ago at South Boston. There's Nick Smith. He's the season one winner here at Watkins Glen. Right behind him, Adam Lewis in the 52 right there. Number eight machine of Juan Garcia. 99 at Jonathan King right behind him. 57 machine of Trey Wright is here. There's Derek Camel who comes into this race only three points off the points lead. Is his teammate Lauren Martinez leading the field. She has 85 points coming into this race. Julio Caesar, Daytona winner Julius Anderson, the number two of Nick Kennedy, 34 Jonathan Wong, and there is our points leader. Lauren Martinez in the 46 has definitely put together a very impressive season. We're definitely uh, proud of what she's been able to do there. I don't know if a female has ever won a Napa Fan Championship before. I can't quite remember if it ever has happened. Um, but Lauren Martinez looking for her first Napa Fan Championship. And like I said, winning this race means quite a bit towards winning the championship. There's Tyler Markell in the 78, Andrew Miller in the 22. And Trey Barto just overshot the wall a little bit right there. There's Nathan Stapleton. I'm pretty sure he is the defending race winner. Isaac Remen just went around. Then he got into Justin Zidell. And that is going to be a major factor into these guys getting times because they might not get back around to complete a full lap under speed because of that. Teammates getting into it right there. There's number 98. Nathan Faden, Ryan Bautista, Ryan Kinghart, Colton Yeos right there, Ace Garcia, Jack Cabarrus. There's Thomas Troxel, Carter Friesen in the 0, 27 of Brad Stover, Dylan Young in the 77. They're really going wide off the corner right there. The 0-2 of Erica Douglas and our defending race winner here in the Arca Series, Fisher G, who got the win in Michigan last week. Tuji Yarmajuk and Matthew Phillips will be the first driver to complete a lap under green. And we might have to tone it down for the race here. I have it at 105. I thought it'd be good. Turns out it might not be. 149, 648 for Matthew Phillips. He will defeat the 7 of Nick Smith. A lot of these guys, I think they're going to be able to get um, two laps in because we definitely will have added time. Adam Lewis right there. Jonathan Logan. It's still Matthew Phillips, the fastest guy in town. Jonathan King, Trey Wright, Derek Campbell all completing their laps. We'll see if any of them beat off Matthew Phillips. And it will be Trey Wright doing so. Julius Anderson now, fastest. And now Nick Kennedy right behind him goes to the top of the board. Nick Kennedy's never won before on Napa Fan. He's a relatively new driver here to the channel. Well, there he is, top of the board here at Watkins Glen. There's Lauren Martinez. I don't know if any of these guys got good times in. 
Trey Barta's eighth fastest, even after hitting the wall there, coming to take the green flag for his lap. Stapleton's ninth. Nathan Faden's right in there. There's Adam Pinchon. I don't know if he's completed a lap so far or not. I don't know if he'll get the opportunity to. If not, if there are guys who fail to complete a lap in this session, they will be organized at the back of the field by points. And at Jack Abaris going to the top of the board in the number 25 now with the fastest time here in this session. Great run for Cabarrus. I don't believe Cabarrus has ever won before in Apafam. Development driver to Davey Johnson. Owner of the North State Racing Team over in the Truck Series. And uh, yeah, qualifying for Charlotte right after this in this video. And then tomorrow it's a double header. The ARCA Series from Watkins Glen. And the Trucks from Charlotte on October 19th. Matthew Phillips just went to the top of the board in the number 41. And that was his second lap. The second lap much better for Matthew Phillips than the first one. Might expect some other guys to possibly get some fast laps here on their second tries. Trey right in the 57. Watch out for him. Jonathan King top of the board in the 99. And then it's Trey Wright in the number 57. And they're all coming through getting some fast times on their second time by. The session's almost done. Jonathan Wong's in the wall a little bit. Nick Kennedy, top of the board in the number two. There's still half a minute left. It's not done yet, but they're definitely getting faster time second time around here. There's Barto in the 18. Don't think he advanced. Neither did Stapleton in the 15. And it looks like Adam Pinchon might not have gotten a good lap in right there. There's Ryan Kinghart. There's Colton Yo. This is going to be it right here, I do believe. And it does not appear they're going to advance, so Nick Kennedy gets it at Watkins Glen. He will start on the pole position tomorrow Robert, afternoon. Only him and Jonathan King went under a minute 49. Very spread out session here at Watkins Glen. And take a look at the whole field, and one driver failed to complete a time. And if I'm not mistaken, oh, it was Adam. Adam Pitchon did get a time in there, so we'll have to figure out who that was. Because I know Redmond and Zydell, they wrecked. I don't know who the other guy would be. Um, so we're going to have to figure that out. And we will figure it out once we go through and we do um, the reorder of the field for when we get the race all started. So uh, not entirely sure who it is, but uh, you'll find out tomorrow um, when we get the green flag for the Lake Effect Ice Cream 125. We're going to tone it down a couple points right there. They were overshooting that corner a little bit more than I expected. But Nick Kennedy got the pole in the number two. He'll start alongside Jonathan King for tomorrow's seven-lap event here from the Watkins Glen International. Stick around for Truck Series qualifying from Charlotte. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the Lake Effect Ice Cream 125 race for the season in the ARCA Racing Series. I will see you guys later. Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and we are here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway to qualify for race 4 of 17 in the 2018 NOFSRL Turkey Hill Truck Series. Tomorrow night's K&M 200, we're going to have a double header tomorrow. The ARCA Racing Series from Watkins Glen and the trucks from Charlotte, so... I recommend sticking around tomorrow evening. We're going to have a lot of racing here on Napa Fan. And this will cap off the night tomorrow night. Caps off the qualifying day here today. And we're ready to see who gets it here at Charlotte. Now here at Charlotte, where you start doesn't matter near as much as it does at a place like Rockingham. At Rockingham, we only had three different leaders. We're going to definitely have more than three leaders in this event. But still, starting up front definitely makes it easier for you to get the victory. So... We'll have to see how it all goes down here in qualifying and how it relates to the race tomorrow night. Eric Monaco, first driver out there, and Dale Salzman. Now only 13 points behind our points leader, Audra Baranowski, as the defending winner of this race is William Brock. And uh, William Brock is the owner of Audra Baranowski, and Baranowski comes into this race, the points leader. So, might work out pretty well for the driver of the number 04. 
Eric Monaco is going to get slowed up there by Diego Yepes, and he's going to have to go back around and complete another lap because that lap is not going to be good enough at all. I can tell you that much. So Salzman's going to go fastest right now, 30.685, but as we saw last week at Rockingham, these times change ultra-frequently here at the racetrack. Doesn't matter where we are because we're not at Rockingham anymore. I almost said Rockingham, but uh, they change frequently no matter where we're going. Let me tell you that much. Eli Bright, top of the board, now in the 06. Try to locate him on the racetrack, and there he is to the inside of Daytona winner Sebastian Kukulon. Now Eric Monaco got that fast time, and he's now top of the board for Beast Racing and the number three team. And Sinor goes back. Garrett Sinor is going for two straight poles, and he's the first driver under 30 seconds. He got a huge push ahead from John Arndt. The defending race winner here in the Turkey Hill Truck Series. He's right now fourth fastest, John R. is. But Garrett Sonor looking very fast for Hattori Racing Enterprises. That team owned by John Andrews. And they are doing a great job right now. Monaco to second. We'll see if any of these guys clock in at a fast time. 65. Matthew Brown goes to second, but he's unable to beat Garrett Sonor, who I believe improved his time again. There's the 08 of Mitchell Collins for Phillips Motorsports. I haven't talked about Mitchell Collins too much this season, but uh, he's in this pack right now. He's now 10th fastest. This is Emily Anderson. Now Eric Monaco back to the top. And Monaco for the 29.633 with Diego Yepes second. Emily Anderson is third. Andrew Ross is fourth. Garrett Sonor, Dale Salzman, Matthew Brown, Alexander Rowe, Joe Jefferson and Johnny Gardner, the top 10. Eric Monaco and Diego Yepes ended up working together to go top of the board, but they're going to lose it right there. And again, Matt Tuck, fastest in the 51. Matt Tuck's only nine points off the points lead from Audra Baranowska. It's a great opportunity for him to go to the top of the board. He's right now fastest in the 51 with Emily Anderson. Jesse Turner is now third fastest. The 36 of Jaden Scott, Andrew Ross, Eric Monaco, Diego Yepes, Ryan Durrani, Joe Rutkowski, and then Garrett Sinor. Anderson again! That is the third time she has gone to the top of the board late in this session. And the Friesen Motorsports driver is looking very fast and... There are rumors that she's going to move up to the Chick-fil-A Cup Series next year, but they haven't been confirmed yet, so we'll have to see. She's been running as a development driver to Elijah Gordon for quite some time. It's been very fun to see the journey she has had. She began her career two years ago in the HERS Dash Series. Got a win over there. Was in trucks last year. Went winless, unfortunately, but tonight, or tomorrow night, I should say, might be a good opportunity for her as she is right now fastest here and K&M 200 qualifying from Charlotte. So it's Anderson, Matt Tuck, Jesse Turner, Jaden Scott, Andrew Ross, Audra Baranowskis, our points leader, is sixth fastest. Jackson Bell's up there, and he just got replaced by Roger Ray in the number four. Ray goes to seventh. Then it's Jackson Bell. Number 45 is Zachary DeLello and John Art, the defending race winner. He got the win last week at Rockingham. He's right now 10th. But I think Anderson's got it. Emily, oh no, Johnny Gardner right at the end of the session. And that's going to do it. Oh, no, it isn't. Still half a minute left. But how about that for Johnny Gardner right at the end of the session Knocking off Emily Anderson from the top position. You got a draft from Noah Clifton. Tristan Allen in this draft as well. And how about that for the Thor Sport Racing driver of Johnny Gardner. It's going to be his first career pole. And it's going to come at the Charlotte Motor Speedway in the fourth race of the season. Well, like I said, it's going to change frequently. And it did. Johnny Gardner gets it done in... K&M 200 qualifying. Emily Anderson, Matt Tuck, Noah Clifton got the fourth. A great run for him. Jesse Turner, Jaden Scott, Andrew Ross, Audra Baranowskis, Roger Ray, and Jackson Bell, the top ten. 
Take a look at the rest of the results right there. And the good thing is for Michael Cantu, Eli Bright, those guys in the back, they can work their way from the back to the front here. It is very possible to do that here. Garrett Sonor, after all, that's going to qualify 25th. He was one of those... Uh, up runners near the uh, beginning of the session, and he fell all the way back to 25th. Those ties were getting faster and faster as this session went along. You gotta remember, too, we have a five minute session now instead of a 10 minute session like we had with the Chick fil A Cup Series. So there's a shorter amount of time, and I think during those Chick fil A Cup Series qualifying sessions, it was about midway through where we saw the fastest time, and then it fell off as the session went along. But with a five minute session, it definitely makes it uh, a little harder to get a good lap early and keep it. But, uh, Johnny Gardner, right at the end, knocks off Emily Anderson. Anderson will start, still start on the front row with Johnny Gardner. But, uh, Gardner with his first pole of his career here on Napa Fan. He gets it done at Charlotte. Do not see any ties, which means that ha it is how they will line up for tomorrow night's event. And, like I said, a doubleheader tomorrow. Arca Series from Watkins Glen at 5. Trucks from Charlotte at 6. Stick around. A lot of racing tomorrow right here on Napa Fan. Thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Johnny Gardner on the poll. And I'll see you guys tomorrow evening for the Arco Series and the Truck Series all in one night. I will see you guys later.